Welcome back to Genshin Impact Part 11. Uh, we have a bit of confusion on what we're going to do. We just finished the last major Archon quest and we finished off with a fond farewell. However, we are in a bit of a kerfuffle because we have this quest to do, but it's blocked by the next quest. <laughs> and then this quest is blocked by the Daneslev quest. You guys have told me that this one, the Jade Chamber Rising, was actually added in version 2.4. So fairly recent uh, in terms of release. So I was kind of trying to avoid doing this one since it came out kind of recently. Kind of recently. So that pretty much just leaves us with the Dane Staff quest. So it is the prelude to chapter one at four. But of course we do have another, I suppose like a fishing event that we have to do. So I'm kind of torn. I think we'll actually check out what this fishing quest is about before we actually get into the next major thing. So just real quick over on stream uh, on Twitch, we went ahead and did the teapot quest, which was basically just running around with Yenfei and letting her do her job or her lawsuit stuff. Didn't really miss much in that scenario, but basically we did unlock the teapot. So uh, my reaction to that is on Twitch. It wasn't really too much. I was a bit confused on it. Didn't really see the point of it too much, but um, you guys explained it to me on stream and it, it seems pretty cool, but I probably won't use that too often. My name is Nantuck. We are we're pretty far in a game to just get to the point of fishing. <laughs> You've unlocked fishing. Time to catch them all. Oh my gosh. Okay, if you should see ripples in a nearby water body, this means that it's a fishing point. Get close to the fishing point and interact with it to start fishing. If you stand too close to perform combat actions, the fish will be frightened and will scatter. Different water bodies contain different species of fish. Okay. Hold the cast rod button to enter aiming mode. Let go of said button to flick your bait and hook out. If your hook lands too far from the fish, its ability to attract them will greatly decrease. Fish on the hook will sometimes enter periods of intense struggle. At this time, the speed at which line tension may change will be affected. Oh, we're going. Okay. Oh, so that's how you fish. Oh, hold on. Alright, bite it. You know you want it. You know you want it. Oh, I want to like, you know, like reel it back a little bit. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, if you get a bite, it'll be the most obvious thing in the world. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is some <laughs> intense gameplay right here. Oh, oh, I got that. Okay, I got it. Oh, I see. I see. Victory is almost ours. Oh, Woo, got it. Nice. Got a fish. Learn how to craft fruit paste bait. All right. Caught our very first fish. Better to go with a look in your face. I suppose you got some pretty good haul. Let me see. It's a newly discovered species of fish. Oh my gosh. Can you also catch fish with your bare hands? So that means apart from emergency pylons. There's also ornamental pylons. No, there isn't. How can there be so many kinds of pylons? All right, ornamental fish. All kinds of fish. Catch an ornamental fish in the Storm Bear Mountains. That one. 
was easy. I'm go back to Nantuck. Nice, okay. I guess that was like a little tiny. Okay, so now we can fish. Nice. All right, so after fishing, I guess we can do the Dane Staff quest. I also want to do this one because it's under world quest and not the normal quest. So let's check out what Lawrence has to say, which is right there. Ah, uh, honorary knight. Is something the matter? So I'm looking for a stranger with an eye patch. A uh, stranger with an eye patch. Hmm. Let me think. Oh yeah, I remember seeing someone like that. A blonde stranger dressed in unusual garb. He was wandering all over Mondstadt at first, which I found rather suspicious. So I decided to keep an eye on him for a while. So it is Dane Slef. Uh, I lost him pretty quickly. Still, I didn't think that this was such a huge matter that we needed our outrider to pursue him by air. As long as Master Jean is here, there's nothing to fear from some suspicious, unusual-looking person. That might be true, but if it were up to Jean, she'd take this way more seriously. <laughs> that is true. But on the other hand, knowing that Master Jean may overreact to the situation is all the more reason to not tell her, no? Oh, I don't do that. <sighs> Anyways, oh yeah, he was at Wagner Smithy for a while before I tried telling him. He might have said something to Wagner. You should go ask him. Maybe he has more news about our stranger. Oh yeah, let's let's just not tell anybody about this strange, unusual looking person. Oh, Wagner's the blacksmith. Why? You need something? Just looking for it. Oh. Here. I remember him. He showed up a few days ago asking to buy a bunch of forging materials. There's no way you're talking that clearly while you're doing that. Can't say I've heard of any of the materials he mentioned, though. He then had a look at the weapons in my shop before leaving. I've heard that he can be found drinking at the Angel's share. If the Knights of the Guild want to get hold of him, that's the only place to be. <laughs> Is he supposed to have something in his hand? The Angel's share? Well, Master Dilek probably has his eye on that stranger, too, then. Anyway, let's go to the angel share and have a look. He is. It, it didn't. It didn't show up in the cutscene. That's funny. Ask Charles about the stranger. What will it be? Grape juice or apple cider? <laughs> another day, another lack of alcoholic options. Hey Charles, have you seen a blonde stranger who wears an eye patch around here by any chance? That I have. He comes here every night. Just a drink though. Doesn't order anything else. He even sometimes mixes his own drinks after he orders them. I don't know anything else about him, but from his selections and mixes, I'd say that he's quite the connoisseur. And what's Master D. Luke's opinion? Why, I just gave it to you. Quite the connoisseur. Investigating everything as always. Guess that's D. Luke for you. If you're looking for that gentleman, he ordered some new bottle of wine in advance yesterday. So he should be here today, too. There's too many raucous patrons on the first floor, so if you want to wait, best to go to the second. Off to the second floor we go. Oh, gotcha. Uh, right here. You and Pymus are at wedding on the second floor. Ah, welcome, sir. The wine that you previously ordered is here. <laughs> He's really here? Let's go downstairs and have a look. Look at her all by herself. And he's gone. What? Hey. 
Did I miss something? Go to the first floor of the tavern and find a stranger. Oh, he's sitting down somewhere? Oh, there he is. Okay. Pain? <laughs> Hi. I'm an adventurer with the Adventurer's Guild. How do you do? I'm an honorary knight, Sephaphonius. Intention of paying us any mind, huh? So, uh, I'm a traveler. A traveler, you say? Hmm. Why are you traveling? That is definitely Dane's left. <sighs> well, that's as good a reason as any. Sit down over there, then. So, guess we've broken the ice. What a weird guy. Hmm, that little one beside you. <laughs> Emergency food, dude. Oh my gosh, the best chum. That's not true, and you know it. It's indeed a good thing to have someone accompany you on your travels. What a weird joke. My name's Dainsleff. I suppose you have some business with me? Well, I was hoping to invite you to adventure with us. Sure. Oh? so cold just a moment before. Hyman's got a bad feeling about this. But I will require advance payment. Oh, whoa. 500 mora and three answered questions. Not bad. The 500 is a one-time fee, and we'll settle the questions in a moment. That's it. Well, now Paimon's got a really bad feeling. That kind of compensation can't be right. <coughs> ah, thank you. Now, as for my questions, I'd like you to answer them here and now. Do I need to answer them all correctly? The answer to a question says nothing about right and wrong, only about differences in attitude. I only wish to know what your choices are. You need only answer. Okay. Question one. The crisis Mondstadt faced was resolved by an alliance between yourself and that Animo Archon who calls himself Venti. Who, in your view, was the key to ending that crisis? How do you know that Venti is... I know everything that I should. <laughs> well, answer the question. Mmm... I mean, Venti did a lot, but I think it was a collective. Is that your answer? Hmm. I see. Question number two. Rex Lapis, who has defended Liyue Harbor for millennia on end, used his gnosis to lay down a contract to end all contracts, of which the stipulations are still unknown. Who do you think will defend Liyue Harbor in the future, now that they've lost their deity? These are really good questions. <laughs> um, I mean, the people, basically. That's the real answer. But the Adepti, probably. So that's your answer? I see. Now for my final question. This world has people who gained visions and those who did not. Which of the two do you think hold more importance in the eyes of the gods? Mm. <laughs> okay, the third answer is just like the neutral. So, this is your answer then. As I thought, you really are similar to him. Yeah, who's him? <sighs> I'll take that 500 mora. And now I also understand your views on this world. As we agreed, you may now commission me. That said, I only take commissions related to the Abyss Order. Like you, I am currently on a journey. You intend to find your sibling, while I wish to oppose the Abyss. Well, I have some... Well, I have met some Abyss mages in the past. Ugh. 
Those creatures that serve the Abyss are the fangs and claws by which the Order spreads chaos in this world. I have come to Mondstadt this time while on the trail of an Abyss Herald. An Abyss Herald? An even more twisted Abyssal being. One that commands the Abyss Mages. Come to think of it, since the Storm Terror incident ended, we haven't... Oh, that's right! We've just been fighting against the Fatui and Lile, who are human too! We haven't encountered the non-human Abyss Order at all! That angle. There's some reason behind that, I'm afraid. It's possible that they may have been under orders to avoid your path. Oh, that does sound pretty dangerous. <gasps> Maybe they're looking for a better time to ambush us or something. I'll defeat them. Uh-huh. We're super duper strong. That manner. It's just like his. Like whose? Well then, let's go see for ourselves, shall we? According to the leads I have on hand, the Abyss Order has re-infiltrated the Temple of the Falcon. Let's meet up at the temple. Perhaps your questions about the Abyss will be answered there. I cannot think of who he's talking about. I have no idea. I'm trying to think who would Dainsleff be sort of like looking up to, but... Not necessarily looking up to, but comparing the Traveler to. Unless him... Oh, maybe him is like our sibling. Maybe it's Aether. Maybe. There was somebody that Dainsleff knew a lot about. No, I don't think it was him. It's gotta be our brother or... I don't know. But he narrates like every single trailer. And some people he knows a lot about, so he knows he knows a lot about Albedo. That could be it, maybe. Either Albedo or our, our brother. This abandoned temple does bear some marks of the abyss. The Falcon of the West. Though it can soar in the wind, it ultimately does naught but hover under the light of the gods. The hell are you talking about? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Let's head inside. Haven't done one of these in a long time. Oh, 46. Pretty happy with this crew. No complaints. The scent of the abyss is getting stronger. It's not far now. I wonder what the abyss girls look like. Do they look something like the abyss mages? Let's head further in first. If we do see that creature, that'll spare me the explanation either way. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oops. Oh, I hope it can be Dainsleff. I don't think so. He would have been five. Steady as stone. Steady as stone. Yeah. Adventure time. Yeah. Oh, hello. I'm going. Oh, on character. And again. I love this all so good. No, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, it's like little orbs in there. I didn't even realize that.
button. Hydro, really? Or actually, maybe I double up? No. Probably Hydro, if anything. Or Cairo. I do have double pyro, which is a little overkill. Still don't have a good pull on yet. I'm stuck. What on earth is this? Nice and spicy. Let's go a pyro symbol? Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. I don't want to go back. I don't know. Adventure time. Adventure time. Huh? I'm doing no damage. Stone. Time to clean up. Look at you, Boozil. Hit him a bit too. Oh, this shield is broken. my weapon so much and I feel like I still do nothing and my artifacts too just a few abyss mages seems like that herald might have already left the abyss the abyss it is chaos and it is also destruction it is a morass of inconceivable madness that encroaches upon this world's very foundations. That is why even the Dragon of the East, a servant of a deity, was unable to resist its corrosive powers. And the creatures of the Abyss desire nothing less than the overthrow of a world ruled by the Archons. You seem to know a lot about the Abyss, Dane. Dane. <laughs> Well, we do have some history. I suppose that's as far as chit-chat goes. We should head to Wolvendom. Judging by the traces I'm following, their next appearance may be within the territory of that old wolf. Perhaps we may find our Abyss Herald there. Hmm. You know a lot about a lot. Yeah, I... I still suck <laughs> after everything I've tried to do. They were only they were level forty nine, I think. Those mages. My Noel is level sixty now. Oh, we have to fight Boris again. I hope not. We should meet up with him quick in case the wolves decide they don't like him. Let 
Yep, it looks like that's about to happen. Lord of Wolvendom, great wolf king of the north. Sharp of fang and keen of claw. And yet dwelling here only. No, nor does it know me. <laughs> no. I only know these things because a previous traveling companion of mine once wanted to hear its story. All right. Let's go see if that Abyss Herald has stopped by here. But where do we begin? Hmm. Are you standing here because of these strange bonfires, Dane? Indeed. See that? Floating above the flames? It's an abyssal spell. Knowing what I do of the Order's habits, they've probably left similar marks behind elsewhere. Look for clues related to the Abyss Order in Wolvendom. Ooh, that's far away. He knows pretty much everything. And it seems like he's been around for a very long time, based off the trailers. Cause he did say something about I think once again it was Albedo. He was talking about Albedo and he said, I wonder if he can I wonder if he can do what I did five hundred years ago. So I'll catch up. He must have been around for a long time. There's another one. There's another one of those bonfire spells. Looks like the abyss really has been around here. Yikes! Where did these monsters pop out from? Oh Let's boy. clear them out and quick! Oh, what the heck? You stuck him out in one spoon. Uh, I guess three levels really do make a difference. Like, the way I have Noelle Bill, I mean... I literally poured everything I have into her. <laughs> it's still not enough. It's still not enough. Oh, that counts. Okay. Do you think that those monsters by the bonfire are under the Abyss Order's control? Looks kind of scary. Oh. Let's okay. beat them up first. <laughs> Let's beat them up. Oh wow! What was that about? Leave it all to me, as a dutiful maid would. Can't handle your drink, huh? Oops. Well, probably shouldn't be hitting fire with fire. God. You would teleport. Oh, I have the shield, but it's gone. Break. Oh, bro. Okay, still hit him. Leave it all to me. Ah, the shield. Whoops. I don't know how I did that. I was aiming without the mouse. Oh, you hit. You hold that? Looks like this bonfire's also got something to do with the abyss. Have you finished searching? We found lots of signs of the Abyss Order. I searched around these parts and found some signs myself. But they were left behind by Abyss Mages. And there was no deeper Abyssal power to them. It seems that even an Abyss Herald would not wish to make trouble with the Wolf King of the North. 
We should leave as well. If there's anything praiseworthy about that old wolf, it's his territorial nature. But now we're out of leads. Are we going to have to give up? No. There is one more place we can go. Let's get a move on then. I'll wait for you at Storm Terror's lair. Storm Terror's lair? Hmm. Ooh, right at the, the entrance. There he is. Oh, hell. Out of everything I have, my... The shield is like... A little dusty. The Let's highest the damaging thing. Cleaning. I've heard about what happened to you during Mondstadt's crisis. When you came, this place was known as Storm Terror's Lair. But I suppose that this place is more Lair than Storm Terror at this point. In fact, if my memory serves, this ruin has had largely nothing to do with that dragon for a long time. The first time I laid eyes upon the ruins of old Mondstadt, the dragon of the east had yet to fall, much less come to nest in this place. Huh? But Baima remembers that Tavalin first got in trouble hundreds of years ago. Don't think too much about it. Do you remember the light actuators that once sealed this ruin? If the Abyss Order is interested in this location, then they will not neglect those mechanisms. Let's go see what the situation is at those light actuators. I mean, uh, you know, Dane, I got the adventure book. I, I can just, I can just find them if you need them. Yeah, looking for abyss mages? There you go. They're right there. Someone needs assistance. Look, there are lots of monsters gathered over there. I'll catch up. <laughs> the Dan stands revolution. As a good night show. <laughs> There's some enemies are just weak. I'm going in. Take cover. You did not teleport. Eat this. Boba, get them. Get them. See, yeah, he was he was like he had uh he was hydro, so it was easy to kill him. But if he's Cairo, then that creates an issue. Enforcements. Oh. Get him. Get out of here. Burn that shield. Adventure time. Teamwork is dream work. Look at you. Nice. Oh no. Oh no. That's tragic. I'm out of stamina. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I gotta take these guys out first. Pretty quick now. Boom. Race you. Wait for it. Alright, I need to just we got a shield back. As a good night shield. I wouldn't call not having to gaze upon such a creature a shame, exactly. Still, I do believe that you will come across one eventually. Mm, no, you're right. If it's a really powerful monster, it would be...
be best to go around it. <sighs> How good it would be if all perils one encounters in their journeys could simply be solved by going around them. Speaking from experience, are we? Once upon a time, yes. I simply have experience from adventuring together with that traveling companion. Uh, you know, Dane, you keep talking about that person this and that person that. Where are they now, anyway? No, who are they? He... No longer travels. I'm afraid that traveling can be too exhausting at times. Who is he? Oh, is that how it is? Well, why are you traveling alone then? I still have some things left unfinished. Once they are done, I too will return home to rest. Ah, <sighs> yep! And it's good to have a home to come back to, isn't it? We camp out a lot when we travel. Hey, once you find your sibling, we should find a place to stay too, shouldn't we? Hmm. Monstat's fisherman's toast is pretty tasty, but Liyue's one min restaurant is great too. Nah, either way, we should settle down in a place where there's good food. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, I think. Home. Well, it won't be too late to think about where you stay once your journey reaches its end. While you're still traveling, you should... I sent something familiar on that cliff. Huh? What's familiar? Our spidey senses are tingling. A familiar feeling, you say? It could be someone you know well, or perhaps a monster. <laughs> Whichever it is, we should see it for ourselves and thus see clearly. We can reach the top of that cliff from over there. Let's go. It could be a monster. Oh, damn. Really fast, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Let's okay. use that wind current nearby to catch up. Yeah, I thought when she said her sibling, he was gonna say, Who's your sibling? or something like that, but he's being so darn secretive. But to be fair, we, we didn't actually ask who, she just asked where. Love the music here. Reminds me of near. Can you still sense that familiar feeling that you spoke of earlier? It's nearby. But it doesn't feel like there's anything around here. No monsters, no people, nothing. Indeed. Whoops. There doesn't seem to be anything strange about this place. It doesn't look any different from the last time I was here. My traveling companion brought me here on our previous journey. Hmm. So, Dane, what about you? What's your favorite place? Me? I no longer remember. I merely followed my traveling companion around on that journey. That's all there was to it. If you don't say who it is. Huh? A ruin guard's footprint. A ruin guard was wandering around here? No peace to be found, even for a single dandelion. Is this where it happened? What's gotten into you? You were just spacing out. Huh? You mean your brother? But how could that be? You only touched that dandelion for a second. Yes, the moment I touched it. Hmm. Perhaps that dandelion bears some sort of scent that only you recognize. As for why, 
as it perhaps experienced something related to you. Uh, you're saying some real confusing stuff. Hyman doesn't get it at all. Regardless, I have to get to the bottom of the... Do not rush. Vexation and anxiety are the enemy of rational thought. Your journey has only just begun, has it not? At least you now know that he is still on this world. At this time, the most important thing is the journey to find him itself. And I will find him. Yes. And this is something you must keep in mind as the meaning behind your journey. May you find your kin at the end of that journey. Well then, let us part ways here for now. Huh? You're leaving? Already? Only for now. Don't worry. We will meet again. Hmm. After all, I did take 500 mora and those three answers you gave me. Interesting. Man, there were so many unanswered questions there. But I think it still continues, is it not? Or is that a different quest? No, that's just a... Huh. Man, that's getting, this is getting interesting, man. We touched this dandelion and had that thought. I swear that woman looks familiar. Like she's, a, she's like she's a different character, but I think she's just her own character. Huh. All right. Well. Okay. So now, oh, that was the next quest. Okay. But we'll start with this. Oh, you know what? Doctor Bad told me to do this. Uh, the invites are fine. I just while I'm doing the story, let's play. Is it? I'm gonna have the screen clear. I think it's in co-op mode. There it is, world permissions, reject, there it is. Yeah, so we'll have that on while we're recording these, but turn it back on later. And we're off to leeway. Good old Leeway. It's where it's tic-tac and toe. No, uh, they're not here. Yes, yes. They have the audacity to go after anything. The seven dragons, gods. No ancient artifact that relates can escape their greedy ambitions. Still, this time is different. Who do they think they are going after the Abyss Order's treasures? Oh, Traveler, it's you. Huh? Ganyu, what are you doing here with Lan? Do you have a commission you need to post? Hello. We were just discussing the treasure hoarders. Yes. We were just saying how even the audacious treasure hoarders should know better than to mess with the Abyss. It's just too evil. But we recently received intel from the Ministry of Civil Affairs that two big-time treasure hoarders in Liyue and Mondstadt are planning some big joint operation. Two big-time treasure hoarders? Yes. They're known as Big Sis of the South and Raptor of the North. Oh, Raptor! Paimon remembers he tried to run away from Amber and Mondstadt. But who's Big Sis of the South? Big Sis of the South? Does Big Sis mean she's... <laughs> she's bossing people around? You are correct. She's the head of the treasure hoarders in Liyue. As I understand it, the treasure hoarders all call her boss. Some say that the God of Thieves even bestowed a gift upon her for her exploits, making her big sis of the gods. But that's probably just a wild rumor. Anyway, the treasure hoarders discovered some previously unexplored ruins that the Abyss Order has been secretly guarding in the shadows. Despite how dangerous that makes it, all the treasure hoarders can think about is what kinds of treasure could be inside. They have already devised a plan. They will send out a decoy to divert the Abyss Order's forces away from the ruins, then send an expert thief inside to steal the treasure. To this end, Big Sis and Raptor have reportedly recruited a certain Grand Thief from Fontaine. Grand Thief? That's quite...
quite an impressive sounding title. Oh, indeed. He is an extraordinary individual. The Grand Thief is highly respected in the Treasure Hoarders, in the same way that we adventurers look up to great adventurers. The music was so, like, dark and eerie, and now it's all happy again. Just like the famous adventurer Alice. Ah, so you're familiar with the author of the Tavat Travel Guide, then. Correct. The Grand Thief is someone as renowned as her. So, despite being relative big-timers in Leeward and Mondstadt, Big Sis and Raptor had to put in a lot of work to convince a thief of his status to come and personally oversee this operation. With the major changes in Leola recently, the Ministry of Civil Affairs and the Millilith already have their hands full. They don't have any time to investigate rumors about treasure hoarder activity. But anything related to the Abyss makes me feel like there is some unknown danger lurking beneath the surface. So, I decided to come to the Adventurer's Guild to post a commission. Well, since I'm here... Mm -hmm. Leave this commission to us! Oh, thank you so much. Good to see this in the hands of a reliable guild member. Well then, good luck. The guild will take care of the details of this commission. Ganyu could not stand out any more than she does. Go to the ruins. All right, so we got two new major names: Big Sis and the Raptor. Someone needs assistance. I just like to make people smile. Oh, that's good, Granny. That's good. Go to the ruins. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, not that. Interesting. This is on the edge of nowhere. It's actually close to where we found the moon carver. Big Sis and Raptor. That's interesting. A lot of abyss talk we got going on in this part. Do I have the key? I don't think so. No, I don't. I don't even know how... Oh, they're in domains. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we got another little abyss. I'm gonna switch it up this time. I love Diona, but I don't know. It seems like Hydro just becomes so much more prevalent. I don't know why. We can do this. Mm, this is such a good combo, though. It's so hard to pick, like who to take. Uh, I guess because her sword or her her pole arm is not that good, we'll switch her out. Come with me. But once I get a good pole arm, Jingling for the win. But as of now, I guess we'll leave her alone. There are signs of treasure order activity here. They must have come to these ruins. Let's go deeper inside. Paimon sure hopes Ganyu's information is reliable. I feel like I'm playing Uncharted. Or Tomb Raider, one of the two. There aren't many guards here. Looks like their plan to draw away the Abyss Order's forces really worked. Hit me. I think I was a little too early. I must leave no stone unturned. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't realize I was frozen. Adventure time. Just die. Couple boxes. I love these missions. Like these little 
corridor was here. This should be the right direction. But why does it feel stranger and stranger as we make it deeper into these ruins? Oh, shoot. <laughs> um, be careful now. Paimon's right behind you. <laughs> The chest. Um, oh no. What are you supposed to do here? Drop down, maybe? I hope so. Yeah, I, I love these type of like temple little quest missions. I hope there's more of them. Is his head off? Oh, <laughs> I thought his head was cut off. This looks like a person could it be the grand thief why is he in that position is he praying to something <gasps> that's the statue of the seven oh yeah it is why is the statue of the seven hanging upside down and the statue's hands Paimon remembers they're normally holding an orb, right? But this statue is holding... What is that? Uh, Paimon has a really bad feeling about this. And the Grand Thief hasn't moved an inch. Do, do you think he's... Dead? There's no reaction, nor any sign of breathing. He... He's dead! Paimon doesn't feel so good! How did he die? What a terrible place. Oh, let's get out of here. And fast! We should report back to Ganyu and Lon. I want to know what that is, though. What's, what's going on there? It's an electric statue of the seven. Oh, shoot. <gasps> oh, I'm dead. I'm dead as can be. I didn't realize the ground was disappearing behind me. Okay. Oh, I'm dead again. Jesus Christ. It's a bubble right around the corner. There's three of them. What? Can you break the bubble? Oh, let me get my stamina back. Hold on. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, rip the dream. Yep. A little more careful, okay. Wait for it. There's two. Don't do it. Almost lost two characters by doing that. Oh no. You cannot spy on the secrets of the abyss. A classic bad guy voice. You have come here. You have seen our secrets. For this, 
You must pay the price. As a herald, I will mete out your punishment. That's him. And a this herald. The one Dane spoke of. Dane. Dane's lift. Oh, I thought you were just a couple of pests that stumbled in here by mistake. So, you are with Dainsliff, that constant annoyance in our affairs. Did he send you here to die? His resistance against the Abyss has gone nowhere for a long time. There is nothing you can do to change the tide. The Abyss is unstoppable. What is this power? I have never seen it before. Oh, Careful, boy. please don't get cocky. Oh. Let the show begin. Don't worry, oh. Beto. I'll get you back up. Let's probably lead him with this. Whoops. Oh, I didn't get to put my shield up. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Hold it. Oh, I'm fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Ow. Oh, we got our shield back with this, too. I forgot. Have it. Uh, darn it. Oh, well, you're still going, huh? Ooh, couldn't take it. Couldn't take it. This power, it seems familiar. I see. So it's you. You are the one. I'm on space. In that case, I shall stay here no longer. Maybe he's gone. Oh, what a tough battle. Are you okay? Oh, such a strong enemy. Who knew the Abyss Order had monsters this powerful among them? Huh? What is it? What are you thinking about? Why not tell her? Nothing, let's just get out of here. Oh, right, yeah. We're near the exit now. Let's get out of this scary place before something even more dangerous shows up. The Paimon Shuffle. Traveler and Paimon swiftly leave the ruins. So, we meet again. A little sooner than I had expected. Judging by your expression, it seems you just experienced something quite strange. Could it be that you encountered an Abyss Herald in those ruins? What do you know? That's exactly what happened. Huh? How did you know that? I've been on the Abyss Herald's trail. I didn't expect to find you here as well. Actually, the Abyss Herald wasn't all... Wasn't all we encountered? No, we did. There's something even strange in the abyss here on the ruins. Oh, the the the, the statue. An inverted statue of the yeah. seven, holding abyssal power in its hands. No, I have never seen such a thing during my time fighting the abyss. Though I have had my suspicions. Tell me the rest of what happened in there. So you escaped the ruin depths filled with abyssal power, and then. And then, as we got close to the exit, an abyss herald suddenly appeared and blocked our way. 
we fought a big battle with that thing. Maybe it hasn't gotten too far yet. Yes, this is a rare opportunity indeed. Come, let's catch up to it. Let's go! A rare opportunity? With Dane helping out, maybe we'll be able to solve more mysteries about the Abyss. Maybe. Where fate comes... Oh, let's see it. A herald without adherence. Looking for more traces. Okay. Yeah, I really want to know more about that statue, but hopefully we learn more a little bit in a second. Because that might be our next one, the next statue. The statue of... Well, I guess it'd be electric. Statue of Electro. I'll protect us. Oh, he hit me square. Teamwork is dreamwork. I don't have it. Don't you get your shield back. Stop it. Back off. Just beat that guy in a corner. Those abyss mages just now. Were they trying to ambush us? No. They were just digging through these abandoned ruin guards looking for something of value. The Traveler here seems to like doing that a lot, too. Looking for chaos devices, chaos circuits, you know, that kind of stuff. Yep, those are important materials. Abyss mages probably weren't looking for that stuff. Hmm. They wouldn't be searching for such ordinary objects. In fact, I was nearby investigating precisely because abyss mages often come out from that ruin to explore. They seem to be searching the remains of ruin guards for a certain valuable object to take back to the ruins. However, they look disappointed, so it would seem they haven't found it yet. Well then, why didn't you grab one of them just now and ask what they were up to? Yeah, Master D. Luke, or D. Luke. Yeah, Master D. Luke done that before. I certainly don't mean to be merciful towards these monsters of the abyss. But I have a feeling that their plan with this object is of major importance to the entire Abyss Order. One cannot discover the truth behind it through interrogation. Or rather, these Abyss Mages likely fear something else much more than they do a painful interrogation. Something related to what we saw in the ruins? Uh, Hyman is getting goosebumps thinking about all of this. All right. We shouldn't waste too much time here. Let's continue our search. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. This whole Dane Slef versus Abyss Order. I mean, there's no reason to like the Abyss Order. They're all bad. Uh, okay, we gotta make our way to those runes. Yeah, I'm very curious to see if when we get to Inozuma, if we'll uh, we'll have electric. Or what is it? It's electric. What are they called? It's Geo, Animo, and then. Pretty sure it's like Electro. Yeah, you think. Electro towers, or it'd be like Electro Culus or something like that. We'll see. I'm pretty sure we're we're kind of close. Probably have about two more quests to do. So, oh wow, okay. Leave it all to me. As a dutiful maid would. Hold on, hold on. Everybody, stand back. I'll catch up. I can't even hit the guy. Oh, never mind. Oh my gosh! Stop with the freezing. This is why. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Steady as stone. 
Oh, it's not even you who's doing that. I don't know what's happening. No. Stop. Who is, is that the mage? Just make it stop. Take forever to break this shield. Get out of here. You know why I didn't freeze to death before? I think it's because I had two pyro characters on my team. I'm getting messed up. Ready, steady, go! I just can't move. I can't do anything, there's two mages. Oh, you're almost dead. Oh, shoot. Time to clean up. Here we go, here we go. To ashes. There we go. Good grief. Sure are active around here. Hmm, seems wherever we find an abyss mage hideout, there's often a bunch of ruin guards roaming around too. There are no coincidences in the world. Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Just like your appearance in that tavern. Time is just waiting for those seeds to sprout. It's a good life lesson. But I only heard about you by chance. Forget it. Just some needless musings. The connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by no means incidental. Rather, they are both branches that have grown out and up from the same roots below. Branches? Roots? What do you mean exactly? Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Conria. Huh? Conria? Really? The Abyss Order and Ruin Guards are left over from after the destruction of that nation? Oh, speaking of Conria, that's really a super ancient name. Oh, right. As your guide, Paimon should explain a bit here. A long time ago, the nation of Conria was... Huh? Because I have memories of Conria. You have memories of being there. But that nation was destroyed 500 years ago. Hmm. Is that so? Well, everyone has their secrets. You did not pry into mine, so I shall not pry into yours. But, if you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Conria you saw. What was it like? Well, I can't hide it from him any longer. Dane and Kenria, it's worth a shot. Mm, you know what? I don't even really know her history about this. Chagler tells Dane about the sea of flames that happened 500 years ago. So that's the complete story, huh? Paimon thought that you ran into that unknown god first. Yeah, so did I. I see. So your first memory after coming to this world was being awoken by your brother from within that meteorite. It seems your brother woke up first. But the question is, how long before you? And then your brother told you that the destruction of Kanria plunged the whole world into chaos, and that you two should leave this world called Tevat? The destruction of Kanria? He said that? That destruction you witnessed, that's history from 500 years ago. It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Huh. So your brother must have understood this world better than you did, because he woke up first. And it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god who blocked your path. So you couldn't escape. 
Dad knows this part really well. I understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world, you didn't know anything about Kanria. But now, since you have come to gain some understanding of Tavat, you are able to guess that the war you witnessed all those years ago must be the war that ended Kanria. Am I right? Ah, if that's the case, you must have been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure these past few months. Before going to Mondstadt, you had just looked at some vague materials. Later, we managed to gather a whole bunch of old books from all around Mondstadt and Liyue, but you told Paimon they were useless. So, the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Conria so you could find your brother? It's the second most promising lead after looking for the Seven, despite only having a place name to go on. Yeah, you can travel around the Seven Nations to find the Seven, but where can you go to find a nation that was destroyed 500 years ago? I probably know more about Kanria than both of you. Kanria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them, but because it never had a god to begin with. It was a powerful nation, built purely by humans, an unprecedented, flourishing, and glorious civilization. It was the pride of humankind. A nation without a god? Later events unfolded just as you remember. It was all destroyed by gods. You mean that? Five hundred years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to Kanya. The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed, like a weed removed from the Garden of the Gods. How could that be? The history books don't say anything about that. What a dangerous world, I need to hurry up and find my brother. Oh, look, yeah. Yes, well, continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our spirits. The next time I see Venti or Zhongli... I need to hear what explanation the gods have for their actions. Let's keep moving. I will tell you more of what you want to know as we continue our search. So the gods I destroyed no Kenria 500 years ago. And apparently we woke up in that time, but Aether woke up before us. Or whatever character you're playing as. It's the opposite, but... That's interesting. It's a, lo a lot of stuff happened 500 years ago. <laughs> a lot of stuff. And I think it all starts with Venti. He seems to be one of the oldest of us all. Well, Venti and then probably Dane Slept as well. The next day. Oh. Over there! It's more ruin guards than abyss mages. Dane was just saying how these ancient machines are from Conria. Hmm. So, did Conria have a lot of ruins that needed to be guarded? No. <laughs> Ruin Guard is the name modern people have given these machines. No one called them that 500 years ago. These Ruin Guards were known as Field Tillers by the people of Conria. Hmm. Field Tillers? What a strange name. They were farming equipment? It's not like you think. Field Tiller was just a code name. Oh. The people of Kanria like to give code names to their weapons. The land is not to be tilled with farming tools, but rather is to be fought for with steel and blood. This is how the Field Tiller came about. Fought for with steel and blood? Well, that's an interesting way of understanding tilling. Paimon doesn't think it's a very positive interpretation. <laughs> After the destruction of Kanria, these masterless field tillers went completely out of control. They wandered aimlessly over the centuries, gradually spreading to every corner of Tavat. And they still are. Perhaps resonating with the sorrow of other civilizations lost to time, they found their way to various ruins across the land, where they lie dormant. That sounds... so sad. 
It seems we should put an ending to this stuff. Once you understand more, those details won't mean much to you. But no matter their past, all that remains of them now is the danger they pose. So destroy them all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, no. uh, where am I? Oh, my keys are on the floor. Stamina. And I'm frozen. Okay. Alright. 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 Okay. Oh, he's doing that. He's doing that. I didn't even realize it. I'm not really keeping up with people's levels. Ow. I missed a spot. Steady as stone. How much health do you have still? I must leave no stone unturned. of some kind? Hmm. This talisman seems connected to the Abyss Herald. But why would an Abyss Mage be carrying it? Perhaps it really does contain information about their operation. But Byron can't read the writing on it. <gasps> Is that the script of Conria? Engulf the faith of the enemy in flame and bring glory to His Highness the Prince. What? Is that what it says? Loom of Fate, initial operation. They, the Abyss, seem to be carrying out a large operation. The key word here is Loom of Fate. It seems like they are still launching the operation, or rather, are still conducting preliminary tests. Loom of Fate? What's that? Is it literally a fate-leaving machine? The abyss rage came from those ruins. Is it related to the inverted statue? From the horrible feeling Paimon's been getting, those eerie ruins are super likely to be related to this fate weaving operation. So, Dane, what message does this talisman contain? I'm reading it now. Hmm. An ambitious operation. But some parts are difficult to understand. How so? In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osayo, Overlord of the Vortex. The Overlord of the Vortex? You mean that god in the ocean? What do they want with Osayo? I know of your past heroics regarding Devalin, and I also know of the Abyss Order's role in the Storm Terror incident. Though you may not have been aware of it at the time, you were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. Venti's old friend. This time, it's a huge ancient god. The Abyss Order keeps setting their sights higher and higher. Will the Abyss Order use their lies and dark magic to corrupt Osile, just as they did to Valen? No. From the contents of the talisman, this operation goes one step further. They won't just corrupt Osile's mind. They also plan to use the ancient technology behind the field tillers 
to completely transform Osile's body. Is that even possible? So wait, the Abyss Order wants to make some sort of cybernetic squid god of mass destruction? Very few people today truly understand the civilization of Kanria. Though, of course, the accuracy of that understanding itself is difficult to judge. Paimon trying to understand things is just hilarious. Only the Abyss Order has consistently sought out the remnants of Kanria. Despite being far from human, they seek out this lost human civilization quite persistently. The talisman's message states that they will use the defiled statue as a base, attaching Osile's limbs to construct a mechanized god. And the new core that shall replace the orb usually held by the statue of the Seven is the eye of the very first field tiller. The eye of the very first field tiller? <sighs> oh, Paimon gets it! All those Abyss Mages are looking for the special eye, right? It would seem so. They haven't found it yet. We still have time. Yeah, let's find it before this they do. This whole thing keeps getting more complicated. But basically, it all has to do with that eerie statue of the Seven we saw, right? Yes. According to the talisman, the eye should be placed in the hands of the defiled statue thereby imbuing the newly born god with the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Oh boy, the Abyss Order sure isn't holding back with this plan. Hmm. Since no one knows where the first field tiller is, how about we take the information about the statue as the starting point for our investigation? That statue would look like the Anima Archon. So we ask the Church of Evonius about it. Uh... Yeah! That tone-deaf bard is too difficult to track down anyway. Let's go to the cathedral first and ask around. Maybe we'll learn something. The cathedral? Hmm. Huh? What's the matter, Dane? Nothing. Let's get moving. Nothing. Nothing at all. Interesting, interesting. So that is a eye of one of the ruin guards. Huge statue, a grandiose cathedral. The people of Mondstadt clearly spent a great deal of resources and energy to construct them. But how aware of this was the animal Archon on receiving this gift? And how much did he give back in return? Anything in return, though, does it? <laughs> as long as the gods have a clear conscience about it all, there's nothing I can say about it. Shh, we're about to enter the cathedral. Don't say anything bad about the animal archon. And actually, the animal archon is. Ugh, never mind. <laughs> I never specifically said I would enter the cathedral. I'll leave you two to mingle with the sisters. But we've done everything else together, aren't you curious? You are the honorary knight of Mondstadt. They will surely allow you to poke into these affairs with their utmost trust. Having me tag along would only make them suspicious. <laughs> Correct. And just as our little friend said, I might say something bad about the church at any time. When a non-believer steps onto holy ground, the result is never pretty. Yeah, that's true. I have never received the favor of the gods in the past. I don't see any reason I would need it now, or in the future either. That's enough about that. While we've been chit-chatting, the Abyss Order continues to act. Okay, then we'll just go in ourselves and ask around. I should warn you about one thing. Don't go mentioning the defiled statue inside the cathedral. The Church of Favonius wouldn't ignore the matter of the statue. But if they rashly tried anything against the Abyss Order, it would only ruin whatever element of surprise we may have. Also, meddling in the affairs of the Abyss usually doesn't end well for anyone. Enough chit-chat, let's go. Continue the chit-chat. Alright. Talk to Barbara. 
Barbara's right here. Honorary Knight! Hi, how have you been? Do you need anything today? Oh yeah, I remember the last time we saw her, we got ambushed by the but La Senora. First make it clear that if you need to borrow the Holy Lyre to Hermel again, we cannot oblige. It seems he hasn't realized it's just an illusion. Oh, we're here to ask some questions oh. about something. <laughs> Barbara, have you heard about the first field tiller? Hmm. What's that? Field tiller. What does it do? Uh, of course you wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> okay, next question. Has the church ever lost a statue of the seven? Huh? You're here to ask about that old story? Well, I didn't expect that. That was such a long time ago, barely anyone mentions it nowadays. A long time ago, there was indeed one statue of the seven that disappeared one night without a trace. Nearly every member of the church joined the search for it, but it was never found. In the church's records, as you might assume, this incident has been called the Lost Statue of the Seven. Hmm. Of course! Of course? Uh, nothing? So do you have any other clues? Uh, uh, Paimon means any other <laughs> strange stories? <laughs> do not keep a secret. Sorry, Barbara, but we can't tell you about the statue we saw just yet. Like Dean said outside, it's for your own good. Other strange stories? Mm, not sure. Let me think about what other unusual incidents are in the church's records. Mm, oh, the tyrant's final fury? Mm, no, that's from another time. Probably unrelated. The tyrant's final fury? Oh, this refers to a time of great danger that engulfed old Mondstadt. The place now known as Storm Terror's Lair. Many, many years ago, there was a time when balls of fire would rain from the sky whenever anyone approached Old Mondstadt. Balls of fire raining from the sky? How terrifying! It irks me how much our main character doesn't talk. People at that time believed it was a curse laid down by the god of storms, so they referred to it as the tyrant's final fury. This strange phenomenon continued for about a year. No one was ever able to solve it. It just gradually ceased on its own. Right. Later, the theory of the tyrant's final fury became less probable in the eyes of the church. Common reasoning dictates that the god of storms wouldn't shoot fireballs. Perhaps it was something else that caused the disaster. Anyway, this incident might not be related to the lost statue of the seven, but I just can't think of any other strange incidents that might be. It's okay. Thanks anyway! There's that pointless word, thank you, again. I can never get used to hearing it. Rosaria. Oh, Rosaria, it's you. If you're looking for the Knights of Favonius, they're busy with those monsters again. Uh, those monsters? Those monsters that tried to attack Mondstadt last time during the Storm Terror incident? They're still dealing with that? Wasn't that the Abyss Order? They're at it again? Indeed. They're gathering in Wolvendom, causing great unrest among the wolves. Could it be that the Abyss Order is targeting the spirit of Lupus Boreas? <sighs> As for what purpose, I can't say for certain. Master Jean has already headed off to Wolvendom. I must also begin to make a move myself. Master Jean said you should stay at the church and continue your work with the clergy. M but you're also a member of the clergy. Right. We'll go give Master Jean a hand. Oh, okay. If the honorary knight will be there, then... But please, everyone, be careful. May the animal archon protect you all. May the animal archon protect you. Mm, oh, the lights just went off. Mm, I like Barbara. 
You're not dating stuff. You're not dating stuff. I see. Has the Abyss Order already launched a new operation? This could very well have something to do with the Defiled Statue. We should go as well. But what is the Abyss Order going to Woven them for anyway? Are they looking to do the same as they did with Devalin? Uh, not again! No, that's not likely. Unlike Osile, who was just suppressed, Andreas died long ago. Today, it is just his spirit that stands guard over Wolvendom. The Abyss Herald may just be targeting the spirit of Andreas in an attempt to garner some information from one of the Animo Archon's old companions. Go to Wolvendom. Alright, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens here. We're all forming up. The squad is forming up. We might see Rosaria in action for the first time. At least I hope. Might even see Razor again. Maybe. Don't underestimate the enemy. Let's take them now. Don't underestimate. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I activated that? Oh, I didn't even realize. I just wasted that. I must leave no stone unturned. No, you don't. Use it. I'm on an awkward angle. Alright. Get on the ground. These guys just don't fall. The closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. <laughs> Fits the Abyss Order's style. Yeah, let's go! I'm... not going any further. Hello? Huh? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fluffy animals? Aren't fluffy things cute? It has nothing to do with wolves. It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly became a servant of the Seven. I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't desire any interaction with him. Besides, you're the one people like. I'm less likable. You really despise the Seven, huh? You really don't like the social interaction? There's nothing special about gods anyway. It's just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. Yeah, I'll take that advice, Dave. You shouldn't place too much trust in them. But at the same time, don't go too far in the opposite direction. Don't go trying to overthrow them or hunt them down. Even if the god in question is your sworn enemy. Don't trust them and don't hunt them. That's some awkward advice. Does Dane hate the Seven or is he protecting them? <laughs> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears, I will tell you one final fact. Huh? What fact? The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. Well, enough chit-chat. We should get back to business. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and keep your visit with Boreas brief. Afterward, let's meet at the entrance to Wolvendom. Up, oh, there he goes. What a strange man. Yeah, that's true. You also keep your guard up against unfamiliar gods. At the Rite of Dissension in Lyrae, your decision was very similar to what Dane would do. 
they're a blank face, man. Uh, when there's a lack of trust, it's best to avoid the situation entirely. <sighs> Not the easiest situation. Honorary Knight, Paimon, what are Jean. you two doing here? Oh, Master Jean! So glad we found you. Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss Order, so we came to help. Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. They have surrounded Wolvendom. I am preparing to send out some knights to fight back. I just scouted out all of Wolvendom, but I did not see you. Rosaria told me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas. But the Abyss Order and Boreas... What is the connection between them? I've heard of Boris, now I'm hearing Boreas. And there might be two different people. They just like to cause trouble. Ah, do they really need a reason? The Abyss Order already went after Devalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archon's buddies. Hmm, that is true. Regardless, whether the reason behind the present threat is clear or not, I will handle the situation. Honorary Knight, please go and check if Lupus Boreas is in any danger. This god's spirit... He does not often see people, but I hear that you have met him before. Maybe it is best that you are also the one to meet him this time. Okay, be careful. Thank you for your help, Honorary Knight of Favonius. Oh, uh, I did that accident. Yeah, I thought it was Boris. Or at least that's how he says his name himself. Boris. Someone needs assistance. Oh, Boris. Boris, Boris, Lue, Lue, Lu. It's all. It's all the same. We don't have to fight these guys, but they're just in the way. Steady as stone. Oh, yeah, it's down here. Oh, shoot. What happened here? The whole place is cracked. Yeah, you usually. Oh, wait. Look! Over there, oh. it's raining! Oh and no. The Abyss Herald. Is that usually what Razor has on his head? You not welcome here. <laughs> so the wolf's wretched spirit likes to raise wild pups now. You claim to be a guardian. Yet your once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. Lies. Lies. Leave him alone. What the heck is this ceremony? He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh no. Is this the same thing they did to corrupt Devalin's mind? Wolves never surrender. But this can't go on. Time for another round with the Abyss Herald. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. Hey, you ran away last time. I don't want to hear it. Off we go. Bow before the Abyss. Teamwork is dream work. Huh? Don't hurt the wolves. Don't hurt Wolfman. Try and attack me all you want. Oh, we're, we're out. We don't have it. Someone has a dutiful maid wood. Oh, there's a, another guy over there. I didn't even see him. She's just gonna, she's just gonna run away again. I must leave no stone unturned. I don't know what 
that guy's doing, but... Oh, I didn't hit him. That's fine. Oh, he has a, a Hydro Shield. Ooh, I don't have much fire. Ooh, ow. Okay, alright, doing it three times. Four? Okay. Come at me. Hit me. No? Okay. Yeah, I don't have much fire to hit him with. This is awkward. That's gonna hurt in the morning. But as much I can do as far as fire. Is that a lecture that I need to do? Yeah, either or. I just don't really have that much pyro attacks to hit him with. Adventure time. Stand, stand still. Leave it all to me. Oh, that works too. Anticlimactic. I just had a fire crew like yesterday and now I switched. Oh, there's more. Hey, you gotta help. No, he's free. How does an old spirit have such determined will? No matter. This is but a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. And he's gone. It disappeared again. Thank you. You came. Just in time. Human Lubakal. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial. But, scary outsider, not respect trial rules. Boreas. I too didn't see the trap. Wait, so you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? Thank you. In the future, my claws must get sharper. You smelled danger and came here? Yep, I smelled it. No, we heard about the danger. <laughs> my nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. <laughs> Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about, too. Uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. Though there was indeed one human-made machine that I can never forget. 
It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But it could not think, only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm. By the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field killer, right? Yes. It could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fireballs. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield visions. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty close. Fireballs? Hey, didn't we hear this somewhere else recently as well? Anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field killer came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? It sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know, but did we help? Yes, you were a big help. Thanks. I'm actually, no, you weren't. You didn't do anything. We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, I smell more danger. Bigger danger. You two also be careful. Big danger. More danger. 32. Let's go tell Dane. Nice. I almost hit E on that. That would have been bad. Alright. We can actually... We can actually do story quests now. Or at least one of them, I think. Oh, no. Oh, we need a story key? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to do these. But... Gotta wait on that one. Got a while to go for that. There's hangouts too, but those I need to do two more sets of daily commissions. Weather is not bad today. Oh crud! I jinxed it. Now it's bound to rain. Okay. Dang! There you are. Did you see Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? Tell the story. I see. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, the old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister. Long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. Ah, Paimon gets it. So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolvendom. After it was damaged in the fight with the wolf of the north, it must have wandered into the ruins of old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew, boom, it would fire a ton of missiles at them. Until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the fireballs stopped raining from the sky. Hmm. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before, so they came to interpret it as the tyrant's final fury. 
It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. No need? Hmm. Huh. What do you mean? I remember. Huh? You mean... <gasps> oh, Paimon remembers too! We saw that abandoned ruin guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. Can't forget something like that. We saw the ruin guard at the top of the tower. Oh, yeah. This is it, right? <sighs> okay, then. Use your elemental sight to look for the eye. No eye. Ooh, so what did you see? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> oh, but Paimon was so excited. Uh, what's going on? Are you sure you did it right? This requires another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Well, why'd you make me look stupid right there? Let me give it a try. And done. Uh... Wow! It's... It's a... The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The eye of the first field tiller. All of the ruin guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. Is it another ancient term from Conria? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue, and if the limbs of Osile, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. What an extremely in danger. What an extreme and dangerous operation. Yeah, they. It's not good. Yes. Then. What should we do with this eye? Put it under the guardianship of the Church of Royals? No. I'll guard it myself. Huh? You? Dane? Hmm. You won't go and do anything crazy with it, will you? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well, you know I don't trust them. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. We can't have the church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. All right. What? Destroy it? That's a statue of the seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine too! No, we gotta destroy it. <sighs> well, good thing we didn't tell Barbara earlier. Otherwise, she'd be going completely bonkers right now. <laughs> Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky, we will also run into that Abyss Herald. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. Nice, I'm sick and tired of fighting them. Into the ruins. Again. Yeah, that place was really cool. I like that place a lot. I didn't get the domain that was next to it though, unfortunately. This place was like really, really cool. I like the, the obstacles and the little like purple balls. Or bubbles, rather. So after all that running around, we end up right back <laughs> here again. Look at us. We barely escaped this place last time, and now we're strolling right back in. You know Gee, it. Surely we must be some of the bravest adventurers in all of Tavat. 
that are the stupidest. To get to that creepy statue, we just need to follow the path we used to escape last time. That should take mm. us right to it. Maybe we have a little... work. Let's go and remember to be on your guard. I think we have a problem, Paimon. There's bubbles. Hold on. Oh, oh that's it for me. Yep. The freaking bubbles, man. It's my kryptonite. Actually, I might just can. Yeah, we can just go. We got this. We got this. Oh, 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 God. Okay. Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Oh, such a scary place. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald, it's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Dane Smith, enemy of the Abyss. Vexatious. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... <laughs> oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. Tis, tis, tis. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you. Oh, hell yeah. Let's take this guy out for good this time. Alright. Ooh. Slow down. Alright, no more hydro shield. Hit me. You won't. You didn't. Okay. Well, he is Hydro, so that's not really going to help us. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he... Okay. Camera's a little too close. Just can't do anything. Just take one of these guys out at least. that maybe I should just fight the boss instead okay never mind Annoying than ads, you know. Boss battle. 
There goes that shield again. Oh, okay. I feel like nothing I do breaks that shield, not even Pyro. I just need that. I need my crystallized sword. I guess bringing bringing Barbara was a huge mistake on this quest. That was the worst thing I could have done. That was a huge mistake. Adventure time! Get out of here! <laughs> this is not what I was doing. What a pansy. That was Aether. He is under their control. I knew it. Doesn't look like he is though. Hey, C could that be Lumine? Lumine. Uh, wait, he just blocked an attack against the Abyss Herald. Your brother and the Abyss. R one. Lumine, why are you with Dane? Been separated for so long. Talk. Your brother knows Dane? <gasps> Ether. We meet again. Oh, that was him. That was who he was talking. Yeah, it was. His brother. Or our what? brother. What's going on here? Dane knows him too? You shouldn't team up with this man. He is my enemy. Oh, they messed you up. Oh, Ether. Boy. But it must be said. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the abyss. Oh, they messed you up bad. That man Dainsliff was the Twilight Sword. One of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 500 years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him. To forever wander the wilderness. While he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into the monsters of the abyss. Mm. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the abyss order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh... And the whole thing about Dane being your enemy... Oh... I'm so confused! Um... Yes... Of course... Home is wherever we are together... But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home... At least... Not yet... Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones... My war with destiny will see no end. Listen to me, Lumine. 
I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. What the hell, man? So we'll meet again. Though we need not rush, sister. I have more than enough time to wait for you. Say something. We have always had enough time. Did you just make it? Uh Dang, dang, got in there. She's being all positive. Uh-huh. That's right. At least now, as well as the seven, game is also a key part of finding your sibling too, right? Once we get the Inozuma, we should keep that in mind as we look for more clues. That's right. Um, by the way, what they said just now is all pretty confusing. Did you understand it at all? Oh. Well then... Over it again. <laughs> First off, that Abyss Herald called your brother Prince. It seems like your brother is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to him. Still, we don't know for sure if he's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Also, your brother said that he wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Could it be he wants to destroy the Seven and the Seven Nations? Next thing, turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying. And Dave is from Conria too! He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago. But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your brother said that Dane is his enemy, right? But if the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also, how come after all this time we've spent searching for your brother, it turns out he's on the side of the abyss. What's up with that? Yeah, you're right. Then we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your brother wants you to reach the end of your journey, show him what you're made of. Come on, traveler. Let's go. Hmm. Well, that definitely makes things really, really unfortunate. And confusing. So I wonder, yeah, I wonder why he's on the Abyss' side. I can understand why he doesn't like Dane's left, but... Huh. Oh, Grad is the last person I expected to see at the end of this quest, but... Also, the voice actor for uh, Ether did, or Aether, I want to say, did a really good job there. And I, I just wish that the the main character that you play as would talk more. Because I imagine if you pick Aether, it'll be the exact same dialogue, just with uh, Lumine. I might have to look that up. I want to see like the, the different voices for that, but yeah. That's definitely sucks that he's on that he's on their team. All right, well that will do it for this part. This part was pretty sick as well. Did not expect to see our brother so soon. Um, I guess it hasn't been soon. It's been a while, but um, definitely intrigued to see what happens next. I don't know if we'll see Dane's left again. Um, I also let's see. Hold on. There's a, a way you can see what you just did. 
Chapter 1, Act 4. Yes, okay, this is what we just did. Involuntary service, or sacrifice. Oh, this was, we, okay, this was that quest. Interesting, so this was the same quest, but it was under world quest. That's why it was kind of confusing. Okay, yeah, so it looks like next... If anything, next I will probably do the interlude chapter just so we can wrap up things in Leoe instead of um, just moving on to the next thing. Um, I, I want to say this one will probably be... Yep, it says you share your feelings with Paimon before... Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, yeah. So I think we'll do this one next because these are the last two Leoe quests. And yeah, after after we do these quests, I think we might be heading to Inozuma. Dane Slef is awesome. Um, unfortunately, he did some messed up things. He didn't protect the people. And he just lives on with that thought. But yeah, man, I don't know what we're going to do about our brother. That really, really sucks that he's on their team. <laughs> but the Abyss cannot be good. There's no way the Abyss is good. There's no Let's reason. Let's go find some treasure. The only problem is, you know, Aether is not under control. I thought he was under control. I don't think he is. He seems fine. So, if he's completely fine and he's doing this, you know, with his own volition, like his own choice, I don't know, man. It's going to take some major persuading to get him back on our side. But at least he doesn't see us as the enemy. At least he's just trying to reason with us. But... Hopefully we get to the bottom of it, but I hope you guys enjoyed that part and I will catch you guys real soon with part 12. We'll be probably wrapping up the leeway quest and then we'll be jumping into Inazuma possibly. But as always, I hope all is well with you guys. And once again, I will catch you guys in the next one.